In this video, we will try to solve a question that was asked by a brother on Econ Maths Telegram channel. The question is like this. A consumer has a utility function u x y is equal to x minus 10 into y x greater than 0, y greater than 0. Price of the two goods is given as price of x is equal to price of y is equal to y. 1, sorry. And the consumer's money income is for you. Then utility maximizing income exhausting consumption bundle of this consumer is the options are given as x is equal to 0, y is equal to 5, then we have 5, 0, 2.5, 2.5 or none of these. Okay. So we are being given the utility function u is equal to now if we solve it here this becomes x into y is xy xy minus 10y okay so this is our utility function we want to maximize this because we are being told to maximize uh, utility maximize uh, condition here okay so we want to maximize this utility subject to the budget constraint what is budget constraint price of x into units of x plus price of y into units of y should be equal to m what is price of x is 1 that means 1 into x is x plus y should be equal to m total money income is 5 okay we want to maximize this subject to this budget constraint okay so if we use here tangency condition tangency condition requires that marginal rate of substitution between goods should be equal to their ratio of their prices okay so what is mrs mrs is marginal utility of x upon marginal utility of y should be equal to price of x upon price of y is one upon one marginal utility of x means differentiating our utility function with respect to x if we differentiate this with respect to x partially the derivative of x is one so we are left with y only okay y and since no x is involved in the sex, second term its derivative is obviously zero and marginal utility of y differentiating again with respect to y partially so derivative of y is one so we are left with x minus here derivative of y is also one so we are left with 10 should be equal to one that means y is equal to x minus 10 okay i hope i am making myself clear now we got y is equal to x minus 10 put this value into the budget equation okay so we have x plus value of y is x minus 10 so i can add x minus 10 should be equal to 5 okay now this is 2x is equal to transposing this becomes 50 or x is equal to uh, 15 divided by 2 is 7.5 so optimal value of x is 7.5 what is the optimal value of y again put x is equal to 7.5 in this equation so we have uh, x sorry in place of x we have 7.5 7.5 plus y is equal to 5 or y is equal to um, 5 minus 7.5 okay uh, for you minus 7.5 that means y is equal to uh, that is negative 2.5 okay so we got the optimal values of x is equal to 7.5 consumer is consuming 7.5 units of good x okay no problem consumer is uh, consuming negative 2.5 units of good y is it possible for a consumer to consume negative units of any commodity no okay so if we use this very method in solving this question so we will not get the uh, optimal bundles here okay because though our budget constraint is satisfied but we are consuming negative quantity and negative quantity cannot be consumed so consumer cannot consume 7.5 units of good x and negative 2.5 units of good y okay so if we solve this question like this it is not a uh, we cannot get the correct answer okay now let us see what are the options given us here okay we want to maximize okay maximize u okay u should be equal to x y minus 10 y okay now let us uh, use the elimination method here now x plus also we are being given x plus y should be equal to m okay now if consumer is consuming zero units of x five units of y 
okay if consumer is consuming zero units of x five units of y our budget constraint is satisfied okay our budget constraint is satisfied that means zero plus five is equal to five okay but what will be the utility at that point so our utility will be equal to in place of x we have zero into five minus 10 into 5 that means we have minus 50 as the utility for the consumer okay now let us uh, put this value here okay uh, when consumer is consuming uh, 5 units of x plus 0 units of y our budget constraint is satisfied what is the utility that the consumer is getting because we are find we are being told to find the utility maximizing consumption bundle and what will be the total utility just plug the value of x is 5 y is 0 so we have 5 into 0 okay minus 10 into um, what we call 10 into what is the value of y y is equal to 0 so this is 0 which comes out to be 0 okay consumer is getting 0 utility now when consumer is consuming uh, though it seems this should be the correct option let us see when consumer gives 2.5 units uh, rather consumes 2.5 units of x plus 2.5 units of y his income constraint is satisfied okay but what is the utility he is getting utility he is getting is equal to now give 2.5 okay so we have 2.5 uh, into 2.5 okay minus uh, 10 into 2.5 okay now 2.5 2.5 comes out to be 6.25 we have minus uh, 10 into 2.5 will come out to be rather 25 okay so I am not sure I have done the calculation right but here he is also getting let us say agar is yath value it is minus 19 okay and this option cannot be the right one now you can easily find out when consumer is consuming 5 units of good x 0 units of good y his consume his total utility is 0 okay when he is consuming 2.5 units of each good his utility is minus 19 when he is consuming 0 units of uh, good x 5 units of good y his utility is negative 50 okay I guess the correct option to this question should be option B. When consumer consumes 5 units of good X, 0 units of good Y, budget constraint is satisfied and he is getting the maximum, what you call the utility. Okay. Uh, and uh, this cannot be the correct one. This only satisfies the budget constraint. Okay. But we did not get the maximum utility. The maximum utility is possible when consumer is consuming all units of good X and no unit of good Y. I hope I make myself clear in this video. Uh, um, I'm not sure whether the answer is right or not because uh, the question has uh, come to me uh, in just uh, uh, five minutes ago. So if there is any mistake in this question, you can uh, ask me uh, to rectify that very uh, mistake because i am just a student of economics in that capacity there can be mistakes in my videos thank you